Hi everyone and welcome to your collective tarot love messages. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see why is it that your person is staying silent. So why aren't they communicating? Um, why is it that they're keeping to themselves? Um, or if they are communicating, why is it they're being a little bit cold, a little bit distant, not their usual self? Or what's really going on in this connection? Um, you know, is the silence temporary? What is it that you need to know about their lack of communication? There's also going to be a part two to this reading, guys. And in part two, we're going to explore the messages a little bit more in a little bit more detail. We're also going to follow on and continue with those messages. And part two is going to be made available to you via the extension link below. For those of you interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video as well. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's see why is it that your person is keeping quiet. Okay, what is it that we need to know? Okay, we'll pull one more. Okay, maybe two more. All right, you've got the Queen of Swords here as well. So, the good news is that this silence, okay, this silence, this lack of communication, this um, phase and this disconnection that you're going through is not going to last forever. Eventually, your person will break their silence. They will communicate, they will respond, they will reply to your communication if you have um, try been trying to reach them. So I do feel like this is what you're going through right now is only temporary, okay? Um, even though it might feel a little bit uncomfortable, okay, for some of you, you've never been here before. For others of you, I see that there may be some sort of the moon card brings in an energy with it that's very cyclical. So even if you haven't been here before, it's very likely that this could be the beginning of something. So the beginning of a pattern, a cyclical emotional or behavioral pattern. Okay, so what happens is um, when your person has a lot to deal with, when they feel as though they're being challenged um, or when... For some of you, I feel like with the Queen of Swords energy, um, you not that they were feeling pressured, but they felt... From what I can see, um, it's like you were, for some of you, look, maybe you wanted an ultimatum, maybe you wanted to, you started to talk about feelings and discussing about, um, you started to discuss the intention and the expectations you had for the connection. Um, some of you sort of woven it very casually into the conversation, but your person was able to pick that up and they felt a sense of pressure and a sense of obligation almost to kind of like meet those expectations and meet those demands. Um, and your person is someone who internalizes their emotions. So instead of discussing openly, discussing and expressing their views and their emotions, they pulled away, okay? They distanced themselves. So even if you guys, as I've mentioned, even if you haven't been here before, be careful because this could very well be the beginning of some sort of pattern where when your person doesn't want to talk about things, they shut down and then they pull away, they go cold, they go distant, they emit this cold energy towards you, left you feeling very, leaving you feeling very confused, very disorientated as to what is it that's created this distance, this emotional distance between the two of you. Was it something you said? Was it something you did? You know, are they um, losing interest? Is this connection losing momentum? So it's leaving you um, asking all sorts of questions and you're asking those questions because they themselves aren't there to necessarily give you, you know, some of those answers or some of that reassurance. So what's going on with your um, person? I feel like with their current energies, there's some sort of anxiety or there's some sort of nervous energy here. Okay, so and there is some sort of disorientation in the energies from what I can see. Um, uncertainty. Maybe your person doesn't necessarily know what it is that they um, what it is that they feel. Maybe they don't necessarily 
know you know what exactly their intentions are for you and their intentions you know their true intentions are for the uh connection maybe you know they went into this thinking this is just going to be something uh casual or they were hoping to take things very slow and then lo and behold your person may have started to fall for you and may have started to develop feelings for you and that is something that they um sort of got freaked out about and this this is the other thing that sort of caused them to pull away um but there's definitely some sort of confusion. Maybe the last time you spoke, um, you were demanding some honesty from your person. You were demanding some truthfulness, some transparency, especially with this Queen of Swords energy. And maybe your person wasn't able to give you that. Because giving you those truthful and honest answers meant that they themselves would have to confront the truth. And I think this is something that they were not yet willing to do. I'm also seeing that your person wants some time. Some time and some space. To themselves. It's like... It could be part of their nature, as I've mentioned. You know, this is someone who likes to stay who likes to remain silent, maybe they feel as though what they do have to say is going to worsen the situation. And this is their way of trying to hold back from saying the wrong thing or from doing the wrong thing. So, like, I feel like this person is wanting some time and some space to kind of process through things. Because their emotions are not clear, they're not certain. Um, the other thing is, I feel like... I don't think that your person, I mean, I don't think that they're playing games um, intentionally. Or if they, you know, they may not understand that, you know, staying silent might come across as immature. But again, I don't think it's this person intentionally being manipulative or intentionally uh, playing games. I just think this person is trying to either avoid conflict because they feel as though they don't want to tug you or tug themselves into some sort of disagreement. Um, I don't think that it's not that they're losing interest. I don't think it's that. I think it's just this person is trying to, there could be other complications and other distractions going on in their life right now. Okay. It could be that it could be that your person is, um, they need to resolve some conflict within themselves. And as a result, you know, this person, their attention and the energy is being diverted. And that's, is being diverted towards something else here. They are, they are unsure about their feelings from what I can see. They're unsure about their feelings about you or about the situation here. And they feel as though it's the honest idea to stay silent until they're more certain about their emotions, until they're more certain about their feelings. Um, they understand that perhaps taking things any further right now or even talking about things right now might potentially create some misunderstandings with you guys, especially currently or for the future. And your person also doesn't want to reveal, from what I can tell, your person doesn't want to reveal any false any misleading or even like any exaggerated feelings which is why in short they feel like it's better to stay silent rather than blurt something out that isn't true isn't what they're feeling or blurt something out that could potentially create misunderstandings conflict or argument between the both of you um also i feel like They're trying to evaluate some sort of uh, conversation that you've had recently or the last conversation that you've had, especially some sort of online or digital communication that you've had. I feel like your person is trying to process what was said or is trying to evaluate that conversation, um, you know, the meaning and the purpose of that conversation. I feel like some of you are definitely uncomfortable with the silence, but I don't think that your person is. I don't think that your person is finding this silence um, 
uncomfortable. I don't. I think this person is trying to... Um, I feel like this person is trying to wrap their head around something. Or, you know, try to gain a little bit more clarity, a little bit of certainty. Um, silence can mean so many things in interpersonal relationships, right? It it can express so many different range of emotions. Um, you know, it could be... It could be love, it could be anger, it could be withdrawal, it could be embarrassment. But I think it depends on the context. And I feel like their point of view of this situation, especially what has recently transpired between the two of you, is very different to your point of view. And I think your person is I think your person is a little bit troubled. And I think they're really taking this time and this space to find out um, what it is that, you know, to find out their true emotions and their true intentions. Because again, I feel like they don't want, they want to be truthful to you and truthful to themselves. Okay, I'm also seeing that when they do reach out and communicate with you, they certainly have something to share with you here. Okay, there's a, they've got something to say. Not only are they responding to what it is you're saying, and they're responding to your communication and your energy as well, which is a good thing, but I feel like they've got something very honest to tell you. So, um, some of you, I feel like, are calling them out. Like you want, you want the truth. You want them to be very truthful in what it is that they share with you. Um, some of you have asked them some very confronting questions, which I feel like has made them pull away because they were not able to tell you the truth then and there. They had to give themselves some time, some space, some mental space. To figure out what it is they wanted to get back to you with. Because telling you the truth would mean that they too would have to confront it. So in part two of the reading we're going to explore what is it that they will reach out and tell you here. What truth is it that they're coming in with. And um, you know when when is it that you'll hear from them. When will they break the silence. Um, will communication improve. Because we spoke about this possibility. You know this possibly becoming a pattern of them shutting down emotionally and then them not communicating them once things are a little bit better it's possible that they could you know start communication back up but this could get something this could become something that they could get very comfortable with okay um very used to and it could become a pattern so we'll see how you might potentially interrupt this pattern Okay, so follow me to part two of the reading via the extension link below. Thank you guys for your time, your energy, your attention. Bye for now.